Welcome everybody to the Frenzy Talk. This is episode 16. 16. Uh, we do have a, not one, but two pay-per-views, which we will go over the card after we go over the matches on our sheets first. I sure um, hope you guys follow us over, because if you didn't, you're not going to know about the wrestlers. That's right. So first up... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. D-Generation X proudly brings to you Sports Frenzy. Uh, first up is uh, Saturday, 8 p.m., and it is uh, on the WWE Network, and it is NXT TakeOver Chicago. Are they ever going to come up with a different title other than just TakeOver? It's always a TakeOver. I don't know why. That's what they've always called their... I think it's because they always say they're taking over this city. Because they're, they're typically down in Orlando at Full Sail Arena. But when they come up and they take over Chicago... Um, so it will be, uh, also at the, um, um, I believe the Allstate Arena. So big arena for, um, for NXT. All right. Uh, your first match is the glorious Bobby Roode. Glorious. I will be there. I will be there. Versus Hideo Itami. Who? Hideo Itami. Okay. He's been actually in NXT for a long time. The reason you may not recognize him, Tim, is he has been injured for some time. Um, the whole time Finn Balor was down there, um, he's been out with a uh, he had a shoulder injury. And he required surgery, and it, his uh, rehab took forever for whatever reason. Um, so yeah, he missed probably about a year, year and a half. Because there was no real push to bring him back. <laughs> I, I guess uh, so. I've got Rude. Yeah, I'm going with Rude too. They're really pushing Bobby Rude, and I, I like this Hideo Itami. His uh, finishing move is uh, the uh, GTS. To but, me, this almost feels like like okay, there isn't there isn't anybody else you could have had challenging Bobby Roode right now in NXT. There's Some, a couple that, guys coming up that have uh, strong promise. The one guy who I don't think I've seen as much lately is uh, No Way Jose. So I don't know if he's out with an injury or what. I thought I had originally heard that he was hurt. Yeah. Oh well, maybe that's where he's been. Uh, next is uh, this is actually a ladder match. Uh, a ladder match? Yes, the first time ever a tag team ladder match down in NXT. Uh, the authors of pain, your current champions, with Paul Ellery versus DIY. Gosh, I don't know. Yeah, I, see, I, I feel like DIY, this is a good match for them with the ladders. I feel like it kind of gives them an advantage because I could see them scurry up the ladder and grab the titles. But Authors of Pain have been so destructive, and then they also have Paul Ellery. Right. So. I um, haven't heard about any other call-ups, so. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they're going to call up anybody... The one guy I have heard rumored is that, uh, um, oh, what is his name? He's the real dark dude. Uh, anyways, it'll come to me in like an hour. Uh, I think I'm going to go with DIY. Well, Incidentally, when, uh. What he remembers will just come back on live and tell you guys. Yeah, it'll be like midnight. And I'll be like, eh. <laughs> uh, I'm going DIY. 
I don't think they're getting called up anytime soon. I feel like the authors of Pain have held on to the titles long enough, and they really haven't had too many title defenses. They haven't. You're right about that. Oh, I really like the authors of Pain, but I don't know. I don't see them being ladder match kind of guys. I'm going to agree with you and go with uh, DIY. I really wish we could play some sound effects. Because some of these sound effects, or the, not sound effects, but uh, theme songs. Some of the theme songs are awesome. But I don't dare. No, you don't. Next up uh, is actually, now we're moving into uh, Backlash. 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 Are you going to give us the rest of the card for TakeOver? I'll, or I'll do that after, and then oh, I'll come okay. back through. I'll get the, the picks out of the way first. Uh so the uh, this is Backlash uh, Sunday, 8 p.m., WWE Network, also coming to you from Chicago. Um, we have Kevin Owens, your current United States champion, versus the phenomenal AJ Styles. He is also the new face of America, he's calling himself now. Yes. However, we are seeing a face turn for the one and only Mr. AJ Styles. And therefore, I feel AJ Styles is going to win. I agree with you. It's kind of hilarious, really. It cracks me up because AJ Styles has gone from being a bad guy to a good guy now. And, and it... You know, it's kind of like they go from these jerk attitudes to like, yeah, crowd, you guys rock, you know, and everything. Just like Chris Jericho did that like overnight too. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking the same thing. I'm with all my best friends. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going AJ Styles. Fine by me because I always like the good. I like AJ Styles. I didn't like him as a bad guy. I've, I've been a huge AJ Styles fan since his uh, his early work, really. Yeah, I like AJ Styles as a, as a as a as a baby face or a good guy. Also, um, he he didn't really come across as a heel very well. He more came across like just a jerk. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I like him as a as a, a, a baby face there. So right. Um, next up is uh, the in ring debut for WWE fans. The one, the only, Shinsuke Nakamura. Oh, that's this an awesome a, card. This is a ridiculous waste of time match as far as I'm concerned. If you haven't checked out uh, Shinsuke Nakamura, check him out. His charisma is through the roof. I'm excited. I, it drives me nuts that it's taken this long to, for his. He's been he's been on SmackDown now for what a month or two, and he hasn't wrestled at all. He just comes out and at least a month, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. he just comes out and does a little dancing thing, talks a little bit, and threatens well, to. Okay, so you have to admit, as an NXT guy, he's actually gotten more <laughs> on. He's actually do. I mean, granted, he's not wrestled yet. But one guy who's wrestled even less than him that's got a lot of airtime <laughs> is the Drifter. <laughs> oh, this is true, yes. All yes. he does is come out and play his guitar. He doesn't talk to anybody, he doesn't say anything. He just interrupts things and plays his guitar and then leaves. I have no idea where they're going with that. See, like I feel like it, that's okay for Shinsuke. I feel like he can get away with that. I feel like... Um... Like he doesn't even sing anymore. He just comes out and strums his guitar a couple of times around... Now it, it's I, I think it's kind of humorous at times where he just kind of appears out of nowhere. Like this week, well, it was basically Kurt Angle who sells it, but Kurt Angle's just looking at him because Kurt Angle was talking with the Miz and his wife at the time, and he just comes out and starts strumming his guitar, and Miz just walks away, and then Kurt Angle just stares at him like, "Who are you and what's going on around here?" And then he just turns around, plays his guitar, and walks off again. <laughs> See, I feel like it, that can like the whole like not wrestling thing can work for some guys. Like I, I, I understand. I see where they're coming with Shinsuke Nakamura. They're saving it for 
a big, you know, uh, huge. But yeah, one, yeah, a big Dolph debut, Ziggler basically. Not, um, we don't consider wrestling Dolph Ziggler a huge moment in anybody's career. No, no, that's that's. Uh, anyways, I'm going Shinsuke Nakamura. We'll talk more about this in a second. I got Nakamura. In heel, Ziggler is more ridiculous than. Then good guy Ziggler. It's so like, you have okay. Dolph Ziggler, I assume. What? You have Dolph Ziggler. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, but I, I, and I... <laughs> I didn't mean to hit that. That was a bump. Um, I, and I and I see where they're going with him not wrestling. Um, you know, they want. I guess they kind of want to introduce him to the. The WWE universe, the true loyal WWE fans who pay the nine ninety nine a month and watch NXT every week. Obviously, they know Shinsuke <laughs> Nakamura, like yeah. you and I. We know him, but that that's such a small percentage of people that actually watch NXT every week. It's not though. I mean, everybody knows who Shinsuke Nakamura is. Not and even if they didn't see him in uh, NXT, he's been around forever. He has, yeah. Um, I mean, it's, he's legendary for his New Japan stuff. Yeah, yep. This is child's play compared to his New Japan material. Yeah. I'm sure he's laughing all the way to the bank, too. Oh, yeah, this is... I would be. I mean, think about it. He hasn't... Oh, he, I'm, I should be correct. He, he hasn't wrestled on TV, but he has been wrestling on house shows, which that oh. still makes no sense to me. They did the, That drove me nuts with Finn Balor. They gave him his wrestling clearance. He wrestled house shows, but they wouldn't let him wrestle at WrestleMania because they didn't want to rush a storyline for him. <laughs> I would have rather seen him come. Okay, you don't want him a storyline built up for him? Have him come out and do something at WrestleMania. Right, right. A few years ago, John Cena... I don't think he had his full clearance to wrestle. His shoulder wasn't 100%, but he still came out and did something in the ring. Yeah. So, anyways, enough of my rant there. Um, go back to NXT TakeOver. I'm so, go for we were talking about um, a new image for, you had said a while ago they were going to do a new image for Finn Balor. And I've noticed at this point, all they've changed is his logo. Yeah, yep. Uh, apparently that fell through. Um, I had heard something about them, him doing more of the demon, like not the character, but more of like a, a demon, like mask that he wears more, but he hasn't yet. So I don't know if they scrapped that idea or what, but um, nothing yet for Finn Balor as far as that. I just goes. think he's so popular that, you know, they don't really need to do anything ridiculous with him. If you get a chance, check out that uh, Finn Balor 24 Oh yes, I want to see that. It's awesome. I really I like watch the, it this weekend. They really do. I, I love those uh, back uh, behind the scenes, uh, anything behind the scenes with interviews and that kind of stuff. Like uh, Twenty Four, uh, the uh, three, uh, the the dining one with three three fame the three wrestlers. They always have three different wrestlers. Um, Legends, Stone Cold Podcast. Um, I love all that back, like behind the scenes stuff, because you get it straight from the wrestler, the right, story, right. and what they were feeling and whatnot. So uh, the 24 Finn Balor was awesome. I, I, it's one I'm going to probably watch a couple of times. Right. Because, um, it, yeah, it, it was awesome. So I'll check it out. The only thing I don't like about those is it really takes everybody out of character. Yeah. For, you know, like, you know, I, I saw the KOs on there talking and stuff about him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Neville's on there talking. KO's on there talking about him. Uh, who else? Uh, uh, Sami Zayn, which is he's baby face. But, yeah, they, they're all talking about how, how close uh, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson are on there and – it takes them out of the contents, but I like that because it, I you, you see actually that the behind the scenes stuff is kind of how it is. Because you and I know that this is all storyline, right? Right. You know that the, the in in real life that 
I'm, I assume most of those people are like family, you know, the, you know, yeah, they're, exactly. they're very close, uh, well knit and so, right. Uh, but anyways, uh, NXT takeover Chicago, the rest of the card looks this way. Uh, this originally was supposed to be a fatal four way match, but Ember Moon, uh, Asuka actually threw her out of the ring and I don't know if Asuka threw her too hard or if Ember Moon slid Ron and landed Ron, but her shoulder hit uh, the post or something. Her shoulder, she has a sprained shoulder. And so she's out of action, I think, four to six weeks, they're saying. Um, so she's missing this uh, takeover. Uh, so so now it, do you think this is going to delay Asuka moving up? I, I don't know. They, I think Amber Moon, I'm betting Amber Moon's going to be the one that's supposed to win the title from her if they're going to. I could see them doing, a, you know, on NXT. Or are they I, not going to move up anybody else right now, you think? I, I don't think they're going to move up anybody right now. The women's division, that it's they have a few strong competitors down there, but not anybody. I feel like if they lose one or two more females down there, the women division down there is going to be just horrific. Yeah. That they have very limited women down there right now. But, uh, I mean, it, I feel like Amber Moon was, like, the only real – and now, mind you, I haven't watched it in a few weeks, but it was the only real – would have been legitimate kind of competition for her. Um, well, so now it's a triple – it goes from a fatal four-way to a triple threat match. It's Asuka versus Ruby Wright versus Nikki Cross. Um, that Ruby Wright, I don't know about her. She kind of drives me a little crazy. Yeah. I, I, I'm not so sure about her. I, I think it's a little quick for her to be in a championship match for the women's title. Yeah. I, think, I think they need to develop her a little bit more and... Not saying she shouldn't be on TV. She should be on TV. She she's talented, but we don't know enough about her. Her character hasn't been right. You know, I don't know. It's kind of she's kind of weird. Um, I don't know. But uh, Nikki Cross, I could see her being one that dethrones um, Oscar. Either in a triple threat match, so Os or Nikki Cross would pin uh, Ruby Riot, or I'm wondering if uh, her buddies, their Sanity, are going to come out and cause oh. some distraction, right? Allowing her to win the the title. Um, so um, yeah, but right now, right now, I'm, uh, it's Oscar, Ruby Riot, Nikki Cross, Ember Moon. There's a new girl that just wrestled uh, this week um, down there. What is her name? Um, which I also I haven't seen um, the other two girls from Australia. Did think. one of them get hurt? The uh, the one did. I wish they had a. Uh, Oh, I'll look it up here in one second. I can also tell you who the guy I was trying to think of. There's a uh, I can look up superstars. Uh, you're also other matches um, at the end of Eric Young versus Hideo Itami number one contender match. Uh, Hideo Itami won. He left, and then Sanity came out and attacked Roderick Strong. So Roderick Strong came in the back and flat out told William Regal, "I want Sanity." So now it is Roderick Strong. Versus Eric Young. See, I love Eric Young. I, I've always been a huge Eric Young fan too. I could see them eventually having Eric Young win the. Um, I'm kind of wondering if they'll do this, where they'll have um, Eric Young win the NXT title, Nikki Cross just, win the women's title, and then I, the other I, two dudes hold the tag team titles. I don't like Eric Young as a heel very much. I like I prefer him more of a good guy character. Eric Young is a very cool dude, actually. I, I like the sanity character, though, he's doing. He plays a good, crazy person. <laughs> I will say is, that much. He is kind of crazy, actually. Yeah. 
Uh, and then your last match as of right now, it is actually the, for the WWE United Kingdom Championship match. It is Tyler Bate versus Pete Dunne. Oh, they're finally doing something with the United Kingdom title, huh? They, they've had Tyler Bate defended a couple of times on NXT. Oh, really? He's def- uh, uh, Who did he defend it against? Well, I take it that show hasn't taken off in its country like it was supposed to. <laughs> uh, they, they keep saying, they keep hinting about a uh, TV show. Um, or, so, or, or, or like NXT. So basically, I think their goal is to have like uh, Monday have Raw, Tuesday SmackDown, Wednesday NXT, Thursday have uh, like the United Kingdom show. And, you know, I think their eventual goal is to have something Monday through Friday. Because, I, I mean, I haven't I haven't really paid that much attention, unfortunately. I, and I'm part of it, I guess. If I had more time, I probably would watch it. But, I, you know, with my schooling, I haven't. I haven't watched any of the Cruiserweight. Yeah. So I haven't been watching that at all. And I've missed a whole lot of NXT. I might have to. I might have to try and binge watch some NXT last tomorrow night, just to get caught up on for the pay per view on Saturday. I can't even remember the last episode I watched, so I might have to just binge on like the last five episodes or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Um... I don't think I've really watched anything since the last takeover, really. Oh, what are their names? Is there an NXT? I know who you're talking about, those two girls. Yeah. They think they're super hot and sexy and they make fun of everybody. And I've been seeing promos on um, on Lana. Is she gonna wrestle? You think? That's what they're saying. She's gonna start wrestling, huh? Yep, that's what I'm hearing. Uh, so, Alexander Black is the guy's name. Oh, the Alistair- really dark dude I'm talking about. They're talking okay. about pulling him up. Um, I could see uh, Alexander <laughs> Wolf. <laughs> Was he a TNA guy or was he a Ring of Honor guy? I'm not sure about Al- uh, Alexander. I, er- I love his theme music. It's yeah, awesome. I do too. Yeah, Billy Kay is the one girl and Peyton Royce. Those two are like buddy buddy, and I haven't seen them very much. Um,. They have Aaliyah. I don't think she's... I have a feeling she's going to be down to NXT a while. She needs to work on her character and her uh, wrestling. She seems very sloppy. Ember Moon is a potential women's champion. That Leah, is she the one that comes out with the cat ears? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's her. That is, um, that is one of the Four Horsemen's daughters. Really? Original Four Horsemen's daughters, yeah. Uh, she needs to work on her wrestling. It, when I see her in the ring, she's not smooth. It's very choppy. Um, Liv Morgan. I. She needs to work more on her wrestling skills. Mandy Rose. I'm, she's only come out and wrestled a couple of times. Um, she related? No. Are you sure? Yes. Darn it. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, they could have got us some backstage passes to NXT. Yeah, that'd be awesome. So that that's the uh, that's enough about NXT there for Backlash, uh, the WWE Champion match, which I uh, Randy Orton versus Jinder Mahal. I think Jinder Mahal he did a great job working on his physique. He's a lot bigger than he was when he was doing three man band. His character I like, but I feel like he's getting a title shot too quick. You can do anything with roids. <laughs> True. True. Um, this Backlash pay-per-view I'm not too excited about. No. Um, 
So anyways, it's Randy Orton versus Jinder Mahal. I think Randy Orton's going to win that one. Um, I, I think Jinder Mahal's too quick for a title shot. This is weird to me. The is anybody going to interfere, though? That would be a nice thing. Yeah, but I don't think they're going to hand Jinder Mahal the title yet. No, no, that's what I'm saying. They're not. It, this, this match is going to be pretty not. Uh, it's going to be pretty uneventful. But I feel like there's going to be somebody that's going to start a feud with Randy Orton. Yeah, or uh, Jinder Mahal's Bollywood boys that are going to join in there. The tag team title match is the Usos versus Breeze Dango. I don't know why Breeze Dango. What? Is... Yeah. Yep. Breeze Dango is getting a title shot. Which I feel like that doesn't really make sense. You have got to be kidding me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think Usos are going to win that one. Uh, we already covered uh, Kevin Owens versus AJ Styles. Uh, we both want AJ Styles to win that one. Shinsuke Nakamura versus Dolph Ziggler. Um, I think Shinsuke is going to win that one. Uh, we have a six-woman tag match. It's Naomi and Charlotte and Becky Lynch versus Natalia, Carmella, and Tamina. Um, I feel like this is just leading up to a Charlotte-Naomi feud. Um, at the contract, which they had a contract signing on SmackDown, I saw. And Charlotte and Naomi were, Charlotte was like, I'm coming for your title next. And Naomi's on her team. So I have a feeling that, I don't, yeah. Sammy's, so in other words, they're not turning Charlotte into a uh, baby face. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Sami Zayn versus uh, Baron Corbin. I that doesn't I don't know and then Luke Harper versus Eric Rowan and lastly your kickoff match is Ty Dillinger versus Aiden English so the whole card does not look like it's a very good card no not really personally it sounds like I'm going to fast forward to uh, Shinsuke Nakamura versus Dolph Ziggler match. I, like, um, I do feel like that um, Sami Zayn and uh, Baron could give us a good fight. Because they're, I mean, they're newer guys, so they know what's at stake. So I feel like that match has some potential. Yeah. Um, Alright. Uh, let's see, we'll see if I can give you guys a couple more other things. Uh, yeah, we've done wrestling talk, so we'll do a couple of quick facts for you guys. Yeah, Pirates pitcher Jameson Talon test positive for testicular cancer. Oh, man. That's, uh, wow. Um, I don't know if Tim's heard the news. A English wrestling company has been in talks with a wrestler. Have you heard this, Tim? No, I haven't. Did you hear who the wrestler is? No. Cult of personality. Really? CM Punk. Somebody's trying to get CM Punk to come back, huh? Yep. They are offering him, I don't know for how long the contract is, it didn't say in the thing, but they are offering him $1 million to come back. Has he, has he responded yet? No, I, yeah, I, I think it's falling on deaf ears, but... I, it's just kind of funny. Um, the Boston Celtics, man, they're here. They are doing really good in the NBA Finals, and they land the number one draft pick. I didn't even know that was possible. The, apparently, they made it. I think it's back when they traded uh, Kevin. Uh, when they made that trade with Brooklyn a few years ago. It made it so they could be in the lottery. Well, it made it so they had the number one pick, I guess. Oh, okay. I, I somehow, I don't know how that works out. Interesting. I always thought that the NBA they did the 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 like the ping well, pong balls with the logos. And they so, do, and and the team that has the worst record has more balls in there than anybody else. Yeah, that's so what you I gradually, thought too. The better you are, the less balls you have. Yeah. Yep. Well, somehow they landed the number one draft pick, and then I think the uh, do I I posted I thought somewhere on here. Oh, 
Oh, there it is. Yep, I did. Uh, the NBA lottery, the Celtics land number one, Lakers land number two, and the 76ers land third. Should be an interesting lottery this year. It should. Uh, Tim, do you think it is time for the Detroit Red Wings to retire the number 91 jersey, Sergei Fedorov? Well, why not? Uh, there's uh, he, he was one of the greatest Red Wings of all time, I will say that. A lot of people are still miffed that he left the Red Wings. Oh, yeah, see, that's a key factor in a lot of situations like that. That is so true. I think had he stayed with the Red Wings and never left the Red Wings, I think yes. But I I was reading people's things and, and comments, and people were all saying the same thing, that people need to get over it, that he was one of the greatest Red Wings ever, that we that's why we won uh, Stanley yeah. Cups in 97, 98. ever who left. You don't leave your team. And what did he leave for? More money? Yep. And he went to Anaheim. There you go. Then you don't deserve your regret. No. Mm -mm. Nope. You left for more money. You left your loyalty to your team for more money. Therefore, you should just put a like a money sign up there because that's why you left. You don't. You're not worthy of it yet. No. Oh, I remember when he. And if I remember right, that year it was they played Anaheim and Detroit. I think lost to Anaheim in the in the playoffs. The next year he went to Anaheim for more money, and he fizzled out very quickly after that. And then he jumped around from a couple different teams. It's the same situation right now that with the uh, 09 Celtics. They did not invite Ray Allen to their reunion because he left them to go to the enemy. So um, they had a reunion not that long ago, and they said, you know what? You're not invited because you left us. So, um, Braun Strowman. Any Braun Strowman fans out there? Tim, are you a Braun Strowman fan? Not really. Oh. Well, he's out right now. Uh, he I'm had surprised by that one. He had surgery on on his elbow. Well, that's what happens when you lift a an ambulance, Tim. <laughs> Shouldn't lift ambulances. Yeah. Uh, so they're, they're saying uh, he could miss up to it makes him it makes him look vulnerable now, so he can't be the same unstoppable character he was before. Yeah. Well, they're saying he can miss up to six months with that elbow injury. So I'm not surprised by that. Yep. Uh, oh, I love that. Uh, the Red Hot Chili Peppers drummer. Oh. <laughs> During a concert in Columbus, Ohio, the drummer went to the microphone and started singing, Hail to the victors, valiant hail. I think the whole band did it at one point. And he had the Michigan logo on his drum kit all night long. Oh, uh, let's see. Makes me have new love for the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah, yeah, me too. Uh, Kiwan Leonard will not return. Uh, he left uh, May 14th, uh, so four, four days ago. He left uh, the game with an ankle, left ankle injury. Uh, Kiwan Leonard. Um, I think that's about it for tonight. That's a good show. We got a good show for you guys tonight. So, uh, we will be back uh, Monday-ish for a <laughs> recap show. <laughs> I can't say Monday anymore because it, we have our Mondays where you have schoolwork or I have something going on. Like, for instance, Sunday, I have uh, a sprinkler system guy coming to... Well, uh, we have the pay-per-view Sunday, so we have that as an excuse anyway. But. Yep, exactly. Anyway, everybody, get out there and enjoy your weekend. It's supposed to be pretty nice out there. I'm the coach, live on location from Blissfield, Michigan. And as always, with my partner in crime, Jamie Rose. Glorious. Be blessed, everyone. We'll see you again real soon. Have a great night. Go Blue.